Dan McKenna, who teaches on the Royal College Implantology course in the Royal College in London, and teaches the Master's program, <coughs> has just been awarded last year the first prize the, at the annual meeting of the International Association for Dental Research meeting in Miami, first prize for his research with ozone on peri-implant mucositis. And he has actually is about to publish a simple technique where he puts his sterile saline into the therazone bottle, he ozonizes the sterile saline, he puts it back into the irrigant and uses that for all his maxillofacial surgery, for all his implant placement, for all of those procedures. So he's doing that as a routine. So ozonated water, I use all my endosectomies, all my perforation repairs, all my periodontal surgeries, all my uh, packs of wisdom teeth removals, I'm using ozonized water as my routine irrigant. Because it's doing all those benefits that we talked about. Yes? Can you tell me, please, what is the difference between using ozone gas and ozone water? Um, in the, at the end point, you will end up effectively at the end with a similar result. The ozone gas really has to dissolve before it has its, its real benefit, the maximum benefit. So if you're using ozone gas delivered into the pocket, it will dissolve into the gingival curricular fluid, or it will dissolve in the other areas and then have its effect. If you deliver the ozonized water, it's again having a similar, you're delivering ozone. Both of them will work very well. The, the helazone is difficult to use in periodontal purposes. So the helazone's got its purposes for caries and so on. But for the periodontal aspects, what we use, we're using the therazone or we're using the biosonics. You've got your choice and option. And as I say, many dentists who many dentists have all three devices. So yes. Do you have any issues with the flora? With the flora. With the flora after application of ozone. How do you control the dose there? Not to cause any. Uh, I stopped. I started using ozone with my patients in 1993. So I'm now using ozone for 17 years. I use it for virtually everything. I have never had a patient with a super infection in any way, nor do I know any patient has ever been reported to have a side effect of any super infection of bacteria or any other side effects from the use of these devices. Remember that at this point in time, in dentistry alone, it's over 80 million people have been treated with ozone in dentistry. 80 million people. Not a single case report in the literature of a problem, and I personally have not heard of a patient having a problem. And the reason probably is because ozone reduces all the flora down generally in the mouth. It can disinfect the root canal, it can disinfect in the periodontal pocket, but in the whole mouth, it's not going to disinfect the whole mouth, it will reduce the overall level of the bacteria. It's not like, for example, chlorhexidine. Chlorhexidine is, is a very, like all the other antimicrobials, very specific. It targets specific groups. It's not good against many gram-negative anaerobes. It, it's lactobacilli is resistant to chlorhexidine, but it kills mutant streptococci very well. So therefore, the studies by Flotra in the 1970s, when patients were using chlorhexidine for a considerable period, had considerable severe problems. Some of them got ascending paratitis because of the superinfection of some of the microorganisms. So therefore, ozone doesn't have that effect. It's an excellent question. But things like chlorhexidine and so on do. Root canal irrigation, we should be using root canal irrigation routinely with ozone on the end. Everyone, I'm sure many of you are already using ozone within your practice. Dental unit water lines, think that some people put water into the dental unit water lines when you can put ozonized water. Halitosis, caries uses we've talked at length. Promoting healing, Professor Philippi has done wonderful work in Switzerland. He punched holes in the palates of hamsters. One side of the mouth, he took it to bone. One side of the mouth, he treated with ozone. The other side of the mouth, just with water. And he measured the epithelialization. 
And what he showed was a significant speeding up of the healing process and the epithelialization induced by ozone. So after all surgical procedures and so on, and all these aspects for promoting healing, exactly as you're saying with implant placement, all our surgical procedures, ozone should be a routine part of it. Please read your Medline search tonight on Professor Vilio Bocchi, B-O-C-C-I, from the University of Siena in Italy. He has published the best papers in medicine on the use of ozone on bone, the use of ozone on skin, treating dermatitis, treating eczema, treating psoriasis, treating diabetic ulcers which do not heal, treating uh, infections in all these areas and with excellent results. So as I say, ultrasonic scalers, please do not just use water, use ozonized water. That's that therosomies, I notice they're not, they're not downstairs, but you've obviously got your biosonics, and actually helozone are not downstairs either. So you've got your biosonic system, and you've got, it's your choice as to which particular systems you yourself want to use, but many people use each of them, and each have their advantages. I mentioned earlier Professor Agrillo from the University of Rome in Italy, who's done four excellent papers on the management of avascular <coughs> bisphosphonate-related jaw osteonecrosis. And I'm quoting one of the conclusions from one of his clinical trials, where he said that these are very painful conditions and not possible to manage in any other way. So we do our other patient management with ozone for these. Ozone increased the complete healing of lesions with the disappearance of symptoms and brought lesion progression down to zero. And he concluded that ozone's benefits were remarkable. He has four papers, do a medline search, Agrillo and ozone. Some recommended reading, Per Axison's got an excellent series of books on where he also covers ozone use in dentistry and the quintessence book, entitled Ozone, the Revolution in Dentistry. So in conclusion, I would argue that as a routine, ozone should be in every dental practice. I'm sure many of you are already using it, and those of you who have used it, please do speak to the other, your colleagues, because you'll be able to let them know the remarkable results you have achieved. And at the end of the day, it's about providing better care for our patients. It's getting rid of the cause of the problems. Periodontal disease, root canal problems, dental caries, infected tissues are caused by microorganisms. Maybe the organisms in the periodontal therapy we haven't yet identified. My PhD is in microbiology. It may be that the, because we need to know, we need to have a specific media to identify the microorganism. We may not have identified the microorganism that causes periodontal diseases. Maybe it's a slow virus. We don't know. The beauty with ozone, ozone kills all of them. Viruses, fungi, bacteria on immediate contact, and nothing can ever get resistant to ozone. Ozone's uses in medicine are phenomenal. When you have your ozone machines, Wash your skin with it. If you're having a bath, pour it in the bath. Have an ozone bath. In London, Madonna goes for an ozone bath every week. <laughs> They're charging three and four hundred pounds in London for an ozone bath. And I've been worked on it phenomenally. It's very good for your skin. Professor Bucky has done the best work in that field. Thank you very much for your attention. I hope I haven't been too boring, and I'm very happy to take questions.